Um, I am Ms. Clater, um, and this is a uh, first thank you to the Go Center team, um, our TCU College Advisors for putting this together um, tonight. Um, this is kind of our virtual instruction orientation, um, and it will be an introduction to our Go Center staff, um, and they will go through at the end um, some of the services that they will be providing to the students. Uh, um, first thing I kind of want to go through, um, just so you know, it's a new school year um, to kind of get you familiar with everybody, with who everybody is. Um, we have our administration team listed. Um, Ms. Katrina Smith is our principal. Um, Leticia Manning is the ninth grade AP. Um, Eric Poulard is 10th grade. Dr. Darlene Ford is our 11th grade assistant principal. And Mr. Benton is our senior class assistant principal. Uh, Mr. Poulard should be in, in on the meeting at some point in time tonight. He is going to stand in for Dr. Ford um, um, since she's out tonight. Um, I also went ahead and listed the counselors. Um, you have Ms. Matango, our ninth grade counselor. Um, Shakia Ford is 10th grade. Um, I highlighted myself. I am the 11th grade counselor. Um, and Crystal Barther, who is in. Um, thank you, Ms. Barther, for listening in. Um, on the Zoom as well, but she's our senior class counselor and she is the lead counselor. Um, if you notice, I highlighted my name um, for your point of contact. Um, my email address is there. Since we are under construction, we're having to work um, via Google Voice phone. Um, so I listed my Google Voice phone number there as well. Um, you can call me on that number if I happen to not answer because we're in a meeting or something. Leave a text message and I'll return your phone call. Same as with the email, if email works best for you. Okay, just a kind of a quick agenda. Um, and it, it kind of looks like a lot, but it's not a lot. Um, we'll go through the virtual school schedule. We'll talk about student schedules. Um, how do I find my classes and my teachers? go over attendance policy, grading policy, um, grade level classifications, what the graduation requirements are, class rank and GPA, technology help, how do you stay informed, and then questions and answers um, at the end. Okay, just getting started. Um, school has started, it's already underway, um, but we do have some students who are still having a hard time getting logged in. Um, the very first thing, of course, um, with registration was to make sure that you completed registration. Um, if you happen to know a student who has not completed registration, please encourage them, their parent, to get them registered so that they can begin. Um, the next big thing you needed to do was to reset your password. Then you could log into Focus through ClassLink and check your schedule to get your Google Classroom codes. Um, once you, if there's any students that are new and you've recently gotten your um, schedules for this week, once you log into Focus um, through the class link and you have your Google Classroom, that, that is where you get your Google Classroom codes. Um, you would then go to your My Apps, go to your Google Classroom, and you can begin to add those codes for each one of your classes. Um, a couple of things. Um, it's very important to familiarize yourself with the different um, types of learning. We have synchronous and asynchronous schedules. Um, it's very, very, very important. Um, during this time that you make sure you're checking your email daily, um, parents and students, make sure that you're checking your email. Um, one thing that I found um, that's helpful also at home because I'm homeschooling or I'm doing what you all are doing as well with my children is creating that environment at home for the students to work in. Um, I, again, and you know, to be transparent, I found with my kids, I couldn't let them sleep in the bed late. It was very important to establish a routine for them. Um, I know that there are cases where you cannot be in the home for them. Um, and so it's very helpful, um, and just as a suggestion, to write down that schedule for them so that if they are confused during the daytime or they happen to oversleep or anything happens, they can always refer back to that schedule. Um, and also be sure to set up appropriate back backgrounds for your Google Meet calls. Um, these are just a few helpful links. Um, the first link is for online registration. Um, then there is a link for the students to reset their password. And if you are a student who happens to not have a Chromebook or you're having some issues with your Chromebook, the technology survey is what you would complete. 
Um, right now, we are waiting to receive more Chromebooks if you have not received one yet. So it's very important that you go in and complete this survey because this survey is going to determine how many Chromebooks will be delivered to our campus. Um, if you don't have a Chromebook, it's kind of hard for you to connect unless you're using an, uh, um, your personal computer at home. But if you need a Chromebook, make sure that you complete this technology survey. This here um, just goes through and it shows you um, the different steps in resetting your password. Um, some issues that some students have had with resetting passwords, um, forgetting to put the S on the end, um, forgetting to uh, write out the date of their birthday, um, two digit month, two digit year, four digit, um, four digit year, I'm sorry. Um, so this just goes through and it shows you exactly how to reset your password. In the event that you need to use the password reset tool, if you notice in the very bottom um, left-hand corner, it gives you the links to those as well. Okay, virtual school. Okay, we have two types of learning with virtual school. You have synchronous learning and you have asynchronous learning. Um, the major difference in the two, one kind of just means that you have to be engaged in that moment with that teacher during that class period. Asynchronous gives you a little bit more flexibility um, because the teachers do record their instruction. Asynchronous just means that at some point in time during that day before 11.59 at night, you will go in, you will view the, um, the lesson for the day, you will complete the assignment and you will make sure that it is submitted. Virtual bail schedule. Um, I personally think this is kind of cool. Um, this is virtual bail schedule. Um, I think it's working well for both teachers and for students. Um, but with the virtual bail schedule, um, essentially we have a B day, we have an A day, we have a B day, and we have a C day. Um, in the event that there is a four-day week, we will not have a C day. So like the first week of school, it began as a four-day week. We did not have a C day that week, okay? You'll always start the week on an A day, which means Mondays and Wednesdays are A's, Tuesdays and Thursdays are B's, C's, um, C day is your Friday, okay? Students um, on A days, they go to periods one through four. Um, B days, they go through to periods five through eight. Um, afternoon time, there is a time in there for lunch break, and then the teachers have office hours from 1 to 2.30. It's very, very, very important that you encourage a student um, because I know we're in a virtual world. Not all students learn well virtually. Um, is to take advantage of that teacher office time. That's the time for the students to go in and get some individualized instruction through Zoom with their teacher. Um, C days, the teachers will meet with all of their classes on C days. Of course, the class periods are shortened some. Um, this day, the teachers use it um, to pretty much wrap up their week. They're checking in with their students, making sure they have everything turned in, um, checking for understanding and questions um, as they get ready to enter into the next week. This next screen is just an example of a student schedule um, and what that student schedule would look like. Um, again, Monday and Wednesday, one through four, B day, five through eight, and then on your C day, you have um, all eight of your class periods. Okay, student schedules. How do I find my schedule and join my class? Um, students can find your schedules um, in your Google Classrooms using one of the following methods. The first method is to log into class link. Okay, you can access, um, if you log into your, your Chromebook, it will take you to the My Apps page. You can also access um, class link from the Fort Worth ISD website. Um, once you get into class link, you'll open up the, um, the icon that says focus. Um, and at the very top, you will see planner. Um, in that planner listed there will be your Google Classroom codes, okay? Um, you click the like, of uh, the like button, I'm sorry. You click the, the add button and um, to join the class and it joins it onto your Google Classroom. 
Um, the next method is same thing, log into class link. If you go into class link, um, students, I know when you open it up, you kind of see a condensed version of your schedule on your right hand side. If you go to where it says class schedule, click on class schedule, you open it up and it gives you the classroom codes for each one of your teachers. Okay, hey, how do I find my teachers? In the event that you miss a class, you miss an assignment, um, you have the wrong Google Classroom code, say that there is no Google Classroom code and you need to email your teachers. You simply go to the Eastern Hills High School website, you click on the teacher's website, every teacher has made a website there, okay? You can use your schedule on uh, your focus if you're not familiar with your teachers and you don't know who they are, you just refer back to your schedule um, and you can find your teachers that way. Okay, attendance. Attendance is the same, 90% rule. Students must be counted present or uh, must be counted present 90% or more days to receive credit for the course. We are on an AB block schedule, therefore the maximum numbers of, of absences will be less than in the previous years. That, that lets you know that it's very, very important for you to make sure that you are attending class daily. Um, and in attending class, there are some, um, a, a few ways that we define as engaging with the teacher. Um, one of those ways is watching the lesson, going to the Google Classroom, checking the Google Classroom to see if there is a lesson there, watching that lesson. Um, actually interacting with the teacher, um, that means attending that live instruction that day or engaging um, with the teacher, interacting with the teacher during the teacher's office hours in the afternoon. Um, another way to engage is making sure that you complete those assignments. That way, in all three of those, the teacher has a way to say, yes, Sally was in class today. Um, she is considered a student who has engaged for that day. Students must interact daily to receive attendance credit. If you're not interacting, then it's just like not going to class. You're going to be counted absent. Okay, grading policy. Um, the grading policy and how grades are determined. Um, I just left some links there. Um, it's information that you can go and read. Um, the guide to grade reporting, of course, on the Fort Worth ISD website. Um, you can also find this information on Parent Portal. Um, and referring to the teacher, um, the teacher's course syllabus for each particular subject. Grade level classification. This has been a very big thing. It's always a big thing at the beginning of the year. Um, students sometimes lose credit. Students sometimes gain credit over the summertime. Um, I assure you that the counseling team is working extremely hard um, to make sure that the kids are classified correctly. Um, that has not been completely done yet. So um, there may be a case where um, you should be upgraded to a higher grade level. Um, I ask that you just be patient um, and hopefully in the next week and a half or so, we will have this information turned in and everybody's classification will be um, correct. Um, but as you can see, zero to five and a half credits, ninth grade. Six to 11 and a half credits is 10th. You have to have 12 credits to be classified as a junior um, and 19 or more to be classified as a senior. Graduation requirements, I just listed them. Um, students are required to graduate with 26 credits. Um, I won't go through each one of those, um, but they must have a combination. The biggest thing is the combination of the correct credits um, is what students, um, sometimes don't understand. It has to be the right number of 26. So there, there may be cases sometimes um, when students graduate with more than 26, but the key is to have the correct combination of these 26. Okay, class rank and GPA. GPA is simply your grade point average. 
grade points are awarded in each course and they are used to calculate your GPA. GPA is what determines your class rank, okay? Class rank, once grade points have been assigned and averaged, students are then ranked from the highest to the lowest. Um, one very important thing to remember about your GPA is the GPA is what colleges consider. They consider your GPA and your class rank when making admission decisions. Um, as 11th grader, I think that is something that is very, very important this year. Um, you are setting your GPA in a sense this year um, for those schools that you want to apply to your senior year. Um, I did work as a senior counselor before and it was always funny to me when the kids would come in and say, what do I need to do to get my GPA up? And you kind of look at them and you think, uh, really nothing at that point. Um, so you have to make sure this first semester of this 11th grade year is extremely important. Extremely, extremely important. Um, as well as that second semester is extremely important. So, um, that's one thing that the 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 go center um team will be talking to you about um and working with you about um uh, making sure that you're being matched um correctly to those campuses that meet your rank and your gpa technology help um in the event that you need um technology help here are some of the resources that we have on campus Mr. Poulard, of course, is our um, campus level dig-in administrator. Um, more than likely, he's the one that you will see or interact with if you have to pick up a laptop or bring a laptop back. We also have uh, Mr. Kel Jackson, Amanda Stewart, and Mr. Kaminsky. Um, and another good thing, a uh, cool thing that I think on our campuses, we have what's called a tech squad, um, which is actually made up of students. Um, so you also have some students there who are helping, or once we return to campus, who will be available to help with troubleshooting. How do you stay informed? Okay, here are some communication platforms that we use. Of course, the website, our Eastern Hills High School website. Um, email, emailing your counselor, emailing the students' teachers. Um, and we also have some social media websites. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at EHHS Learn at Home. Um, these are a few more additional um, social media links. Um, it just takes you directly to those um, those links that I talked to in the last talked about in the last slide. And this information, um, just to let you know that this information, um, you will be able to find this information on our Eastern Hills Google site. Um, All right, so just a quick breakdown. We're gonna do some intros, tell you about the Go Center, um, the, C the Junior Checklist, scholarships, events, and helpful resources for you. Okay, evening everyone. Uh, I'm Mr. T. Watson. I am the ninth and 10th grade uh, advisor, but I'm also the NTA, NIA, the student athletes, and the SAT and SAT test coordinator. Uh, we are going to start back in December with SAT and SAT testing. So the first SAT would be December the 5th, and the first SAT would be December the 12th. But it will be a limited number due to Corona and all the space that we have. So Possibly number one and probably 50 students, the first 50, I would say, but it's going to be a low number for, uh, for testing. So if you have any questions, my information is on the presentation. Thank you. All right. Can everybody hear me? I'm assuming you all can. How are you all doing today? <clears throat> Excuse me. My name is Mr. Anderson. I have been working with Eastern Hills High School for the past four uh, school years. Uh, I work for the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Tarrant County as an uh, um, education talent search pre-college advisor. Uh, my role is I work with ninth grade through 12th grade. So uh, I've been working with Eastern Hills as well as Young Men's Leadership Academy. Uh, just wanted to give a quick insight on the program, um, the ETS talent search program and what we offer to the students. Um, we provide academic, financial, career, personal counseling, um, 
and uh, introduction and assistance to secondary and post-secondary programs. We have tutorial services available. Um, we provide exposure to different college campuses. Um, we assist in college applications, FAFSA, and now this year, we just implemented a STEM program, uh, science, technology, engineering, math. So any, if, if any of you are parents have any students that are interested in the STEM program, what we do is we have a Kiwi crate that we provide. Um, they are free of charge to be a part of this program. It's absolutely free, but uh, we provide the STEM crates and we deliver them to your homes and we work in and everyone completes them together on Zoom. Um, <clears throat> we've had a few students over the summer that has absolutely loved that. And also, um, this just in, we actually, this past week, I was talking about supervisor. We're trying to get together to start a robotics uh, um, opportunity for students to actually learn how to create robots. And if they attend the uh, sessions, then they will be able to actually have their own robot at the end. So um, all of these are absolutely free of charge. Um, what you have to do is just reach out to me. My name is, uh, my email is on the um, slide here. I also put it in the chat. If you all have any questions, please, please, please reach out to me. Uh, I'm definitely more than willing to assist. Oh, I'm sorry. I have one last thing. Uh, this is actually just got implemented as well. If any of your students from sixth grade all the way to 12th, if you enroll them into the ETS program, <clears throat> excuse me, I promise y'all don't have Corona. It's just, let's turn them through. But um, if any of you all enroll any of your students into the ETS program, you have free access to the Boys and Girls Club nearest to your location. Um, right now, they have been charging uh, teens to join the program, but that, that fee will be waived and you will be uh, admitted. All you have to do is if you're interested in signing up, you let me know. You let me know which club you're in. I'll shoot them an email, let them know that you're a part of my program, and you will actually be enrolled into that program. Uh, we'll be enrolled into that that specific Boys and Girls Club in that area. So once again, this is a free opportunity. I'm here to help. I'm here to help change lives, encourage lives. And that is it for me. So thank you all so much. Like I said, if y'all have any questions or anything, just put it in the chat. Let me know. Say, hey, Mr. Anderson, my child, I'm going to sign them up or I'm interested. Whichever way y'all want to go at it. And we will um, touch bases offline. Thank you all. Have a good one. Alrighty, and um, I am Ms. Cervantes. This is my third year at Eastern Hills High School. I primarily work with the senior class, letters A through C. This year, I will be working with the junior class as well to make sure you and your student are prepared for what that college going process might look like. Um, this is my contact information. I hold virtual office hours Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 1 to 2. They're open, so just welcome. you're welcome to come and join me. Um, if you want, you and your student can join the Remind. There's my code at the bottom, and I will make sure that you have um, your up-to-date and all of the information um, regarding testing and different or, uh, events that we're having in the Go Center. I'm Ms. Hudak. Um, I'll also be helping with any questions that you have throughout the school year. Um, my virtual office hours link is listed below. It's through Google Meets. And you can also join using the meets code. Um, they are going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday from two to three. Um, and if those don't work out, um, you can also schedule an appointment with me. And then if you need to get in contact with me, my email is listed below. But if you have a quick question or need to get a hold of me real fast, um, you can use that phone number and shoot me a text or a call. Um, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, so what exactly does the GO Center help with? Um, we help with college exploration, career exploration, um, scholarships, exposure to different colleges and careers, and professional development events. We'll be holding different events um, with admission reps. Um, we'll be helping you explore your college interests and career interests, um, and we'll be guiding you to um, Kind of figure out what scholarships you're interested in um, and we'll be having a list of those on the Go Center website which we'll mention a little later. All right so if you've been around Eastern Hills for a few years you have probably heard something about a checklist. Um, a couple years ago we started with the seniors 
this year and last year it was implemented with all grade levels. This checklist was created um, with the counselors and the Go Center staff and it was designed to list the steps for your student to be able to complete to where by the time they're done graduating, um, they've graduated high school, they have a plan for what that they what they want to do um, with their life, whether that be college, career, or military. So here is what the checklist looks like. Um, it is in the Eastern Hills Google Classroom for the Go Center. It is also on our website. Um, some of these things just include creating a Raise Me account, which is a scholarship site, um, doing that prep for the admissions test, SAT, ACT, things like that. Uh, what we are doing this year is with each item that your student completes, they get a raffle ticket and they'll be entered into a raffle drawing um, and drawings will take place every six weeks. Um, so for scholarships, um, on that website, you can go, just go to the link and we'll have a list of scholarship opportunities for each grade level. Um, under the junior ones, it will be alphabetical order. And so you could just go ahead and click on any titles that you're interested in and it will take you directly to the website and have the deadlines and important details on that. And then, next slide. Um, and then if you scroll down on that junior um, scholarship page at the bottom, there will be scholarships for undocumented students um, and those will be listed um, with links to the website as well. Okay, so let's just talk about some of the upcoming events that we are having. Um, Fort Worth ISD is hosting their college night. This happens every year. It's usually a big event. Um, Obviously this year with COVID and everything, it is going to be virtual. Here is the link. The event takes place on Monday, September 21st from six to eight. So I encourage you or your student to register for this event. It is usually a lot of fun. There's a lot of different colleges that come out and it's very useful information on deciding, you know, maybe your next steps and what you're interested in after high school. Another event that we are hosting, the Go Center will be hosting virtual admissions presentations every Tuesday from at 1 p.m. These are going to be through Google Meet. The Google Meet code is here. The last, this past Tuesday, we had Lamar University come and visit us. Next Tuesday, we'll have Vanderbilt. And then the Tuesday after that will be St. Edwards. We have a awesome lineup for y'all and we're trying to fill these up through the end of the semester. So just join in um, on Tuesday at one. And it's not too early. I know being a junior, thinking this is for seniors, it's not too early. It's open to everybody um, so that you can already be thinking about what you want to do. Again, just kind of the admissions presentations we're having, Vanderbilt, uh, St. Ed's. We'll also be hosting different workshops on Thursdays at 1. So our first workshop will be next week about financial aid. You're welcome to join that if you're interested in kind of understanding the different types of financial aid and what that looks like. We'll also have one in um, October for how to apply and other things will include um, resume workshops, scholarship workshops, um, how to write that perfect essay. Um, so just stay tuned for the events that we're going to be hosting. Okay, so the T3 pledge. So this is a new um, opportunity this year, brand new. Um, so they're still working out everything, um, but just to kind of explain what exactly the T3 partnership pledge is. Um, so starting junior year of high school, the pledge offers some great resources during high school and college. Um, and so a few requirements include you must graduate from Fort Worth ISD school, um, complete one of the financial aid applications, either TASFA or FAFSA, meet TSIA, complete eight hours of community service and complete admissions process for T3 college or university. Um, it's an informal agreement, so there are no, only benefits when taking the pledge, um, not, no restrictions, it's not very strict. Um, it's just a, res a supportive resource for students that will have mentorships, they'll help you find internship opportunities, um, helpful guidance to prepare for college and career life. Um, the pledge offers the last dollar tuition free scholarship to TCC and then also first dollar scholarships to four year partner universities. And then um, you can go to the website um, for a T3 pledge 
more information. And um, we really encourage students to take the pledge um, because there are so many awesome benefits and resources that they can help you with. Exactly. Um, and this is something that we're super excited about. It is not just an Eastern Hills thing. It is a Fort Worth ISD thing. It is a Tarrant County thing. Um, and they're starting partnerships with local four-year universities. So stay tuned for that. Eastern Hills is lucky this year because it's one of the first um, launch schools. There are six schools that are this is being launched at. And so we're really excited to have this opportunity for our students. I um, mean, we definitely encourage y'all and encourage your friends to sign up for this pledge because it's it is nothing but benefits for you. So one thing we keep mentioning is the Go Center website. Here it is right here. Um, this has every single thing that we've talked about. We have a calendar for upcoming, upcoming events. There is, it breaks it down by grade level. We have college resources, how to apply to college, um, college exploration, what does that look like? All of our virtual um, admissions presentations will be posted on that website. We will also, this is also where we'll be posting this presentation. We also have uh, military recruitment information there and then various uh, career assessments and career opportunities listed on our website as well. So definitely um, go and check that out so that you can be um, up to date on all that information. And please, please, please follow us on social media. This is the Eastern Hills um, social media accounts, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, this is where every, you will get all of your information Eastern Hills related um, and also Go Center information as well.